Yalmar's man. Bled to death while trying to escape. Wonder what happened to his cohorts. Signs of a battle. Giant chased them. They ran toward the caves. Someone tripped and fell, but managed to get away. Someone tripped and fell, but managed to get away. Hmm. Definitely came through here. Giant tried to get inside. Looks like he gave up. Giant tried to get inside. Looks like he gave up. Hmm. It's deep enough. Shouldn't hit bottom. Went this way. probably went flying. Fought to 
the bitter end. Thorsten. Sliced her up. Two men, looks like. Rest of the crew went on. Wonder how many were left.
Oh, gods. Near twenty of them. But no Yalmar. of old tracks. Giant must have come through here often.
Poland. I was sure you died. Where have you been? Ceres has gone to Spikarog, alone. Couldn't wait. No. Had to sneak off, as if you were afraid of someone would steal the giant out from under you. Ceres? She staked a claim to the throne then? And you'd have rather gone with her? I'd have liked to have the choice. Wait! Still need to thank you, Geralt of Rivia. I'll never forget you came to my aid. Where's the rest of your crew? Fought our way through a swarm of sirens to get here. Only a handful of us left after that battle. Now we're but three. The sirens tore Leif up good. We should see to his wounds. He's dead. What? Nah, he's just unconscious. Lost a bit of blood. He's dead. Trust me. Swore he'd sink his blade into the giant's heart. Swore it on the bones of his ancestors. Coming with me? Stupid question. Join us, Geralt. Hurry now! Pick up the pace! See your rare to go. Or sunny is. Geralt, help me smash that. We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way. I'll cover you. Position myself so as to keep the giant in sight. Step and you can wake him. Hey, quick! Let me out before he wakes! Key should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Viggy? The loon. For good reason, too. Best he stay in there till we finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind, Uncrit? I thought he was your comrade. He is. Which is how I know what he's like to do. Guess you should stay in the cage then. What? I'll not forget this on great. You want all the glory to yourself? Let me out right now!
Biggie. Poor bugger. Should have let him out. You shouldn't blame yourself. We never knew with Viggy. Might have rushed at the giant bare fist as soon as he was out. That might have spelled death for us all. Thanks for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. I'll make sure the Skald said it in song. Yalmar the Giant Slayer sounds better. It was your venture. You deserve the glory. Hmm. Believe you're right. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's go. Gonna head back to Ard Skellig? Aye. After all, I'm to be crowned. I killed the giant, won back Onvik, and lost my entire crew. Mayhaps should have set out alone. Like Ceres. Islanders will see it as a great victory. Cause Skellige is the victor. Whereas I've lost my friends. I've them to thank for making me a leader. They believed in me. And Ceres? She back yet? Hadn't returned when I left Art Skellig. Went to speak a rogue, you say? Venture she aims to face whatever slowly killing Udelric. Some say Udelric's the god's chosen one. They also say the gods are merciful. Witcher? Uh... I'm sure Ceres would be glad to see me, but... You wouldn't happen to be heading to speak a rogue. Yeah, I plan to go there. Good. Thanks, Geralt. I hope we meet again. Farewell, Ancrait. Come back tomorrow. Rare indeed. Welcome to the home of Jarl Udelrek of the Honorable Clan Brockford. Greetings. Wanted to see the Jarl. Enter. Jarl's still speaking to his seer, but they should finish soon. One thing. Watch where you step. How come? Jarl's not too fond of light. Makes it easy to trip. An axe. There's a weapon. Y'all must have dreamt a novel vision. We'll be done in a moment. And then, a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Yarl. No. They demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. 
Ron Kreit's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. <laughs> I'm looking for Ceres. Any idea where she might be? I hope she's gone to the village. It's been a time since she visited. She wished to speak to our folk, but... But? I worry she might have gone to Jarl Udalric's old family home, though I tried to dissuade her. Clan Brockvar have something to hide from me on Crate? No, it's not that. The house is a strange place. Many believe it haunted. Great. I love haunted houses. But why would Ceres go there? Before she left, she had a long talk with the Jarl. Seems she wanted to help him. With what? Forgive me. I must go to him. A promising start. <laughs> Remember when that storm caught us in Old Bay? I like it where yesterday. Adventure seeker. Ceres. Passed out. Gotta get her out of here. What... what happened? Where am I? Oh, my head! Pain's just awful. Got hit with something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword! Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back! You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to! You have to tell me what's going on. Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Ulrich. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have, if I'd only found the sword. So what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar, the ancestral sword of Udlerich's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udlerich. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udlerich and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udlerich. But his father gave Brockvar to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udlerich to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udlerich to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Got a feeling this trip didn't end happily. Your feeling's right. There was an accident. 
A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udelric had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember. Folk have said Udelric's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. Don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. I think not. It's not the gods. It's Aki. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge because Udelric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we've to give Brokvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udlerik alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udlerik both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udelrek? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together. about. So, did you find the sword? Found it. Let's go. After you, then. You and my dad, you were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. But you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. I could have married a continental man. <laughs> 